You know I'm from the South, where preparing a good meal means everything. So let's see if virtual reality can handle this Southern girl's cooking. Hey y'all, it's Joy Rain here, and welcome back to Getting Things Done, where we motivate you. Motivate you to get things done through faith and relevant technology. Listen y'all, today we have a good one because we're going to be in the kitchen and we're going to be cooking it up. I hope they have all my seasonings, but... Uh, Let's get into this right now. Okay, everyone, we are in Cooking Simulator VR and we are about to prepare some meals. As you can see, we are in the kitchen. And so let's get this started. So it's saying that we're going to prepare a salmon steak with some boiled potatoes. It seems simple enough. So let's see what they're working with. All right, so we're going to click this. All right, take the salmon filet and season it with salt and pepper so we're gonna go in this refrigerator here grab one of these and close it bam okay all right and so we're gonna put this on this pan here oh what's wrong with it okay all right and we're gonna season with salt and pepper it's a little bland but it is what it is okay Oh, I already started. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be salty, but it is what it is. Flip it on the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna add 10 milliliters. That was too much. Got a heavy hand, man. All right, so now I'm gonna add that to pan. Turn that on. All right, and it says fry for 60 seconds each. Get this time over here. Put that there. <laughs> add water to the pan the pot oh put this down here put this on and so we're gonna add how many potatoes I'm from the picture is saying two so I guess I'm gonna grab two And drop that in there. Hopefully that's going to be boiling. Take this. Then flip this mug. Come on, man. Now you see the utensil fell. You got to wash it off. <laughs> All right. Flip this over. Oh, that's rough. All right. Oh my gosh. Then 60 seconds. Just gonna add five little seconds on there because I didn't waste the time. Oh no! Put this in here. There you go. Heat that up again. All right. That's boiling. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a mess. Okay. So let me get a plate. This is the most driest type of recipe. I I just I just can't. Okay, and what am I supposed to scoop these potatoes out with? That's the thing. I don't I'm not seeing a spoon or a scoop or, or anything. And you know what? I'm not even messing with that okay bam okay and okay take this out of here put this on this plate then go ahead on turn this off because we're gonna have a grease fire even though we have grease everywhere then it didn't say how long to boil the potatoes. 
let me see if it go down oh we have to add salt okay so where's it 20 grams oh it's gonna have some high blood pressure messing around with this okay and okay 300 grams so I don't know how many grams of potatoes that I had but said that was boiled for 120 seconds it's been boiling for more than that so we just gonna stir this up just a little bit like this since I don't have no other utensil hopefully that salt got in there or not <sighs> then we go reach in and grab it you just gotta reach in and grab it like that <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and serve it on up over here this is the worst meal ever but hey that's what they wanted horrible he got done we just gonna skip this preparation phase and let's go oh my god tomato soup <laughs> chicken broth 700 milligrams Oof. not that it's falling in the pipe ran out of the chicken broth okay so they ran out of chicken broth so let's see don't have none over here so we have to go to the computer liquid chicken broth bye all right oh if only we could make groceries like that and it just appear man that's that's next level right there okay so, I don't know how much that was up in there. Alright, so that's more than enough. Way more than enough. Alright, so we got some salt and pepper. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay, cayenne pepper. At least this gonna have some kind of a flavor to it. All right, cayenne pepper. How much cayenne pepper? Six grams. Oh, just added just a little bit more for some kick. All right, and then after 960 grams of tomato. Can you just tell me how many? How many tomatoes? I'm just gonna guess eight. Okay. Then, 120 grams. So I'm thinking that's probably gonna be two onion. I'm just making it two onion, okay. Then boil for 60 seconds. So we're gonna turn this on, blend, and then add some sour cream. Where is the sour cream? Sour cream is over here, which it should be in the refrigerator, but I'm not sure why it's sitting on the counter. And then we'll have the nerve to say you can save the recipe. I don't want these recipes. <laughs> I hope you wouldn't want the recipe either because this is not what's up. And we just we just making a mess in this kitchen, but usually I just clean as I go. But this is ugh. All right, we're done with this. Bam. Okay. So this is the blender thing. So we go blend it up. There we go. 
put this on the side and it said 150 milliliters now we had a sour cream too oh this is a mess there we go <laughs> there we go and more than what was needed oh no i'm wasting this all right we're gonna blend it just one more time just to make sure that it's my guy okay and so they say pour it into a deep bowl so here we go here's the bowl now what are we supposed to pour it with we don't have a scoop all right so since we don't have oh it's another thing coming up okay so we just gonna pour this like that like so like that and we gonna bring it on over Ugh. here we done made it Soup. there you go man this is rough all right y'all <laughs> and there you have it folks that was cooking simulator vr you see how this southern girl gets down in the kitchen we season it up real good down here <laughs> but anywho you can download this game from the meta quest store today and if you enjoyed this content and if you want to see more make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification button so you can know when we have more content coming because we have more content coming real real soon i've been joy rain here until next time bye y'all